Hello, this is Kathy Mills Chang. By now, I assume that you've decided you would like some assistance with reviewing your fee schedule. And for that reason, there are some materials that you're being asked to fill out to assist us with giving you the best guidance and consulting that we can regarding your particular fee schedule. Many people think that it's important to know um, what the Nginx fee schedule says or perhaps fee facts and really what's far more important than that is the dealings that you have with your insurance companies. One of the forms that you're being provided to fill out provides us with some very important information and I want to just go over a couple of things for you here to share the reasons why. Uh, you will have a fillable form that you can use. Very, very important that you share your actual practice charge in the very first column. Your actual fee, of course, is your highest fee, the fee that uh, you presently call your fee schedule. Then we ask you to go through whether it's, it's old explanations of benefits, whether it's a fee schedule that you receive, but to look for what are called the allowable amounts from any carrier that you deal with. And the more information that you can give us before this meeting, the more useful it will be in our consultation to be able to visit with you about your averages. Uh, it, let's just take Blue Cross as an example here, and of course these are the uh, evaluation and management services. You'll see a place for x-rays, and as we uh, uh, kind of take a look at the next slide, you'll also see a place where we have uh, the CMT codes and any therapies that you do. If you do not provide a service, easy enough, just put zero there, and of course there won't be any information in the right-hand side either. But what's important is understanding the allowable fee. So I want to take just a moment and share with you what I mean by that. If you, for example, in this example of the 98941, if your actual charge when you bill insurance is $40, uh, in the case of Blue Cross Blue Shield, they don't consider 40 because perhaps you're a participating provider with them. They consider 30 and then they apply the benefit that each patient would have. So if a patient has a $10 copayment, for example, then, then they would allow 30, the patient would pay 10, and the insurance would pay 20, and of course you'd be expected to write off the difference between 30 and $40 as a participating provider. If you're a non-participating provider, that will be very important information for us to have as well, which is what you might have filled out in your online questionnaire. Because for example, in this circumstance, while it doesn't really matter what Blue Cross allows, as a non-PAR provider, you're obligated to collect the full $40, whether directly from the patient and then the insurance reimburses them, or the insurance pays, in this case, let's say that, that $20 and then the patient pays the difference up to $40 because the allowable doesn't apply. But we find it very useful for doctors to understand what they're being allowed from the majority of the insurance carriers that they work with so that from that we can then determine the average amount that's being reimbursed by insurance. As a final note, we've had many occasions where a doctor might set their fee, let's just say for this 98941 at $40, but all of the allowable amounts are very, very low, maybe in the 20s or the low 30s, like in this particular case. Well, if a, if a doctor is saying, but I want my cash fee to be $40, keep in mind that while we absolutely support that, you're willing to accept far less from an insurance carrier. And that's one of the questions that a consultant can assist you with uh, working through in your mind as you're determining what your fees are. So as you work with this form, we invite you to uh, carefully identify your actual practice charge and then take some time to go back through existing explanations of benefits or look for the actual allowable fee schedule online and identify the allowable fees. And if it takes just a little bit longer to make this a more robust form, we encourage you to do so. Uh, don't rush through it in, a, in you know, an hour and only give us three values. That renders this useless. So uh, take advantage of the time. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to either Kyra Health University Kyra Health or KMC University and we'd be delighted to assist you with this. We look forward to working with you.